The name Rosemary Nglovu has become synonymous in South Africa with a cold, calculated family member who would stop at nothing to get what she wants. In Rosemary's case, that was money. That, that she liked gambling. She was always there. She could even like, not go to work, but go for gambling. She even won a car at the Imperial Palace. In a period of six years, the former Tembisa policewoman would be responsible for six murders of her family members. The FBI defined serial murder as the unlawful killing of two or more victims by the same offenders in separate events. The accused can therefore be classified as a serial murderer. She, she was not a serial killer per se, but the love of money made her to be a serial killer. You start by doing one. If you are successful, then you'll proceed. She was not afraid. We spoke with the investigating officer who arrested Rosemary, and he told us about the threats he received from Rosemary while she was in custody. She hired people to kill me with my eyes. I said, if she doesn't kill me, she'll make sure that I suffer, you'll get my son at school. She knows what my son is at school, so just at school, just here, just here. Then she's gonna dig him alive. There was no way I would tell them, but I was like, very much uh, protective. If my son went to play soccer, I will make sure I, I went to the ground. When it's finished, I drop him at home. Telling them, no, don't go out late, stay in the house. They couldn't, I couldn't tell them, because I'll make, I didn't want them to make them feel. So, John Mabund, I'm going to go and I'm going to go to I went to the road. She's very much manipulative. Denied everything, denied this, the naked truth. She said, no, it was not me. A critical piece of evidence in the case was the entrapment video, which captured Rosemary telling Hitman how to kill her sister and her sister's children. The plan was hatched in January 2018, just two months before the operation. So they said to me, you know what, we're going to make a, an entrapment. Let's wait, let's do that entrapment to strengthen our case so that when we arrest her, she mustn't get big. We put our undercover cop, drive a state vehicle, fit with cameras, two eight men were there. All the conversation was recorded. I started to interrogate her about this uh, murder, how it happened, and she vehemently denied. I said, No, I got this information. She denied, denied. On top of her, I could see so and goes on in Langa Maralugo, caught the Oguin Bananzo, Agonalishan at the shield. A catty family in Quat, Cuscalaga family, a gamabasa, a gamashiro, a gamata, Pemleka in Akandruf, Na family like our own. Quay and where. If you could give one message to Rosemary, what would it be? <laughs> she must just relax where she is and show some remorse and maybe write down to the ferry child the family and inform the South Africa as to what happened and how she did it. Because I still believe that there are certain people it meant that she was using that uh, that killed those people with her. So she must take them out as well. So she can face the music. Face the the arm of of no. Rosemary Glovu has been sentenced to six life terms behind bars. She will be 71 years old before she is considered for parole.